today, for today's cigar review, I have a cigar that I hope is kind of a treat. It's not every day you smoke a cigar that has a retail price of $33. But today I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. And today we're smoking a cigar that I got in October from Luxury Cigar Club. I'm grabbing my information card here. I got this in the platinum box. And this is the Byron 20th Century Habaneros. And here's why this is a little bit special. And I'll get to why I chose to smoke this today here in just a second. But according to their description, another Nelson Alfonso creation, the Habaneros comes from the 20th century line of Byron cigars. And we've reviewed Byron cigars in the past. They've been pretty good but they have also been very expensive and they go through the BS of having undisclosed tobacco. I think that's totally stupid. If you're gonna buy a car and it says, we're not gonna tell you where it was made, or you're gonna go buy food and they're gonna be like, we're not gonna tell you what kind of animals in it. Come on, just tell us, just be honest with us. Anyway, they said normally these cigars are aged five years after they have been rolled. Now, just to give you a little bit of side note on education about cigars, you can age the tobacco of cigars before it's rolled into a cigar or after it's rolled into a cigar. So when I talk about Perdomo cigars, as an example, being aged in bourbon barrels, it's not just like stacks of cigars in there. It's actually the leaves that have been placed in there. They take those leaves out, then they roll them into cigars. This, however, was rolled with its undisclosed tobacco put on a shelf and it sat there for five years. But here's what's made these extra special. According to Luxury Cigar Club, they did some digging and they were able to find a group of these that were released for sale to shops in 2018. Then they didn't sell or maybe that says an interesting perspective. Either they didn't sell or they were bought up for this specific purpose, but Luxury Cigar Club hasn't been around since 2018, so I'm not exactly sure what went on there, but these were aged, let's see if it says. This specific cigar is aged five years post-roll, but we were able to track down a special batch of these cigars, which were released for sale in 2018. So like I said, I don't know why they didn't sell. Maybe it's because it's a $33 cigar. It could have been in the wrong market. It could have... Marketing goes into sales quite a bit in the cigar industry. If you've never heard of it, if you've never tried it, you're not going to, for the most part, and you're not going to take a risk on a $33 cigar. Anyway, that means that this cigar has been aged for seven years post-roll, meaning it has been rolled and sitting there for seven years, which is crazy that this cigar was just sitting somewhere. It doesn't look like it's got terribly yellow cello, but we'll take a look. And then it gets into flavor notes and all that kind of stuff, and I'm not gonna read it. So when I was looking through my humidor, all that to say, I said, best in the flavor note says best smoked on a fresh palate i was like i have a fresh palate so let's go ahead and smoke it so i'm excited like i said not every day you smoke a 33 dollar cigar but this is a nice size this is a 6x56 ring gauge and as byron's and atabays do it just looks fantastic the cellophane's still pretty clear so that may have to do with the undisclosed wrapper that it's not necessarily giving us any yellow or any extra oils. It smells a little lemony, a little bit grassy, and a little bit like honey. Before I cut this, let me show you what the cigar looks like. On the off chance you have not seen a Byron cigar, now this label, I did not make this label crooked, but it came that way but in case you have not seen a byron cigar i wanted to give you a close-up of this these normally they are maduros normally they're darker and the lighter cigars are reserved for atabay it's the same guys same brand same distribution company but the byron cigar are they're usually darker so uh we've got a a pretty nice looking cigar it's some of the veins are a little bit lighter which I don't know what that necessarily means. This label down here at the bottom is not quite sliding around yet, so we're gonna leave that on there. Let's get this thing cut and lit. Now, I take a lot of care of my cigars, but I feel like at $33, it's like, it's like I've gotta take extra special care of it. And as far as the end goes, that was, a, that was an easy cigar to cut. It's got multiple caps 
and the tobacco inside looks very thin and well bunched. The draw is what is that's like a very light graham cracker and sawdust. It's very woody, maybe with a with ends of cedar. Let's get it torched. Now I love torching these lighter cigars because it's it's like toasting a little bit of bread, and you can really see how the colors change with the heat as you light the cigar. It smells very good. Just the aroma of the smoke smells delicious and fantastic. I can't I can't believe normally cigars that cause as much. I'm like, I'm gonna save that for a special occasion. Today, it's a Monday afternoon. I just watched the Senate hearings for Amy Barrett, Amy Coney Barrett, to see if they're going to confirm her for the Supreme Court. Today was day one. I don't know if they did. You might at this point if you follow politics at all. But that gives you an idea on when I recorded this. The temperatures are in the 70s. It's a little bit cloudy. You can get a little bit of sun. So it's kind of a, a nice, nice weather day, but it's just a random Monday. And I'm smoking a cigar that would have cost me almost an entire day's wage when I was 16 years old. I wish the draw was just a little bit lighter so I could taste it. It's kind of got a caramelly note, not real strong, but Nice. And while now is about the time where I would pull up the internet and pull up all the details about this cigar so we could learn about it together, I have the information card. So we have a 6x56 ring gauge. It's a medium plus bodied cigar. The name is the Byron 20th Century Habaneros. Probably a Toro, I don't know. On the label here it says Reserva Five Años, which means five years reserve. And then we have an MSRP of $33. So if I could have gotten these whenever I was in Illinois, and there was a 34% tobacco tax plus an 8% sales tax, this would be almost a $50 cigar in Illinois. So this thing better be good. I'm I'm super hard on cigars that are super expensive because I know how hard you work for that money. So if you're going to be demanding a price like an Atabay or a Byron or honestly even a Bandolero, which is the third brand in their little triumvirate of undisclosed tobaccos, uh, you got to be pretty good. So at this point, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to, I don't know, watch something and I'll check back in with you here in just a second. Okay, we're about 32 minutes into this cigar and a couple things that I wanted to point out. We have a mostly even burn, but the flavors are kind of like, kind of like that Honeygram cereal, you know what it was, where it was like little bitty, they look like little bitty tiny waffles or, or graham crackers. I think it was called Honeygrams. Anyway, it's kind of what it tastes like. It's very light honey, not a lot, but this is an incredibly smooth cigar. There's almost no bite. There's a little bit of an aftertaste, but on the retro hail, you do get a little bit of spice. So interesting flavor profiles on this. You get a little bit of lemony citrus, a little bit of wheat and grass, a little bit of honey and graham cracker. And then on the retro hail, like at the end of the retro hail, you get a little bit of spice. So all in all, is this worth $33? We're 35 minutes into it? What is this? 34 minutes into this, so slightly less than 35 minutes. I don't know if it's gonna last an hour and a half, and for $33, you know how I feel about that. So, stick around, I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, we're almost 45 minutes in, and it's about time to take this first label off, this black and gold one that says Reserva Five Años on there. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't wanna burn through that up. It did pull off a little bit of the wrapper leaf. I will show you that here in just a second. Do you see that? On a $33 cigar, that should absolutely not happen. It should absolutely not happen. It is too easy to get the glue right so you don't damage your cigar. But that's also a side note, forget all of the crappy construction problems that that brings up. Don't take off your labels until the very last second because you might damage the wrapper of the cigar because there's excessive glue. And I don't remember who it was, but I saw somebody who had 
adhesive on their wrappers and there was actual sticky stuff not glue but like tape or something i thought that was absolutely genius but we took that off we have a slightly wavy not a perfect razor sharp burn this pisses me off but the flavors are good 45 minutes maybe we will pull out 75 80 minutes i don't think we're gonna go for a full 90 minutes but you never know Okay, we're right at the hour mark, and it's time to take this main label off, this one here at the top, partially because we have an uneven burn and partially because part of the label is fatter, probably by almost 50%, than the other half. But what I wanted to show you is in case they have extra glue, and I'm kind of getting the impression that there is excessive glue. There's extra glue that has leaked out from the paper label, the band, and has attached itself to the leaf of the wrapper here, that undisclosed wrapper. And I wanted to show you live on camera because I think that's going to be a problem. If this pops off right there, and we're gonna have a problem there too. So, you see it's, it is stuck on there just like this. And let's see how much of a problem it's gonna cause. Okay, it didn't cause any problems at all, but you can see this is slight yellowing discoloration. That's from the glue right there. So we could have had a problem, we didn't, but I wanted to show you in case we did. I'll be back with my final thoughts on this Byron cigar, 33 bucks. Stay tuned. Okay, we're at an hour and 24 minutes on this Byron 20th Century Habaneros cigar, and this was $33. It was a six by 56, so it actually is smoking for about as long as it should have. The problem, though, is I just paid $33 for 90 minutes of a cigar, and that's where I get a little bit hung up on most of these fairly expensive cigars. When you get above $20, you really have to deliver. So I'm going to give this a cigar score of four. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang good. Here's why it's not a five. It's $33. And that little bit of excessive glue just really just burns me up. Now, if you go back in the archives, I gave a $32 Zeno Platinum a cigar score of five. It had a razor sharp burn and it was just absolutely fantastic. This one we've got kind of an uneven burn. I never really had to relight it and again that construction part, that final construction part where the ex extra glue that just burns me up because this should be absolutely perfect. There should be no flaws when you have something that runs $33 and again a slightly uneven burn but a cigar score of four is pretty good that's what i generally like to fill my humidor with so i'd smoke this again it's expensive maybe we'd want to make an afternoon of it and drink something eat something you know have you know have some time dedicated aside to it it's not a bad cigar for 33 dollars it's just not perfect and I wanted it to be. Just a little flavor side note to you. I did pick up little hints of a, a latte, a little bit of vanilla and chocolate on a couple puffs here in the final third, which was kind of nice. But for the most part, it's kind of got that graham cracker. It's kind of got wood and some wheat and grass. So overall, a solid cigar. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. If you'd like to check out Luxury Cigar Club, make sure you go to CigarScore.com slash Luxury Cigar Club and we'll get you a coupon for free shipping on your first box. I hope you have an amazing day and as always, happy smoking.